I, probably I was like, oh, that's, yes, I, that's literally how it was. I was like, this is it. Yo, what's up? I'm Jane Grundy. I'm 21 years old. I'm a creative director, stylist, model, influencer, designer. The list kind of goes on. I'm from South Bend, which is a small city in Indiana. We're going to start off with, when did it all begin? Alright, so... Basically, in high school, I always, actually not even in high school, just before that, um, kind of when I was younger, I always had an interest in looking good. So I wasn't too much into like the fashion, I guess, but I was just into like clothes in general. I was really more into like shoes, but it kind of slowly progressed because you can't just have fresh shoes without fresh clothes. So yeah, I was into shoes and then it moved on to clothes more towards I would say more like late middle school, early high school, when I really started like skateboarding and stuff like that. So skating definitely introduced me to a lot of brands. I was, that's where I like first heard of like Supreme and stuff like that. So skating led into like the more clothing side of it, stylish part of it. And after that, after high school, I just really got into it. And like, I've kind of, quote unquote been into actual clothes for maybe like three years now so starting off in the fashion industry i don't know how deep i am in the fashion industry and what people would consider deep but um i definitely started off with like i said just posting my pictures on instagram and then traction started to pick up i started to grow a little bit of following and i think around like four to five thousand followers um someone from the forever 21 team and uh, I don't know, social media managers or whatever, seen my stuff and were like, hey, we like what you're doing. Um, we basically want to get you in our clothes, style them, take pictures and stuff like that. So that's how that all began. I started working with Forever 21 and it kind of picked up from there. So I would definitely describe myself as really like laid back and chill. Um, as far as my style, I would say my style is really versatile. Um, one day I could be like a dove, next day I could be like a bat. Still fly at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? So, um, Like I said earlier, what got me into fashion was just being fresh and just like wanting to look cool and wanting to have nice clothes. And I think my style just, actually my style has developed a lot. Like it's, it's changed so much from like high school to now. And it was just, yeah, bro. I was one of those people who were just like the basic matching shirt, shoes, all of that. And then I got more into like, um, I would say, I don't even know how to describe that style. It's just, I don't know. I experimented a lot more. We'll just say that. Oh, uh, so braids is definitely inspired by, actually, you know what? I'm going to take you all the way back to like when I was younger, my favorite basketball player or one of my favorite basketball players was Allen Iverson. And bro, he had braids, like braids was like the coolest thing ever. But like my mom would never let me have long hair. So like as a child, I always kind of wanted to have braids. And I don't know, just later on, I grew my hair out, started listening to more people was influenced by ASAP Rocky. So that's kind of how the whole box braid thing came apart. But he has his and like, he has them dropped in his face and then has in one ponytail. So just me wanting to be different, I did the two ponytails, so yeah. So this is a question I actually get asked about a lot. Um, just basically working in the summer, kind of like my first two years of like college or like right out of high school i really just was like working regular jobs just saving up money to buy something cool and it all just kind of grew from there man once you once you get started it's kind of like when you start picking up and you can even like sell your old clothes and get new ones and stuff like that so right now um well i'll just say the music artists that have influenced me the most and that i feel like i relate the most to and one of them is definitely Travis Scott. Travis Scott, I swear, bro, is like, his music is like my whole life story sometimes. But just Travis Scott, Young Thug, Kanye West is definitely in there. And right now, currently, is Uzi, Lil Uzi Bird. So my biggest fashion influences is definitely 
ASAP Rocky. That's probably top of the list. I feel like everybody by default is just an ASAP Rocky fan when it comes to clothes. Um, someone that people don't really or like like they forget about who started this whole like trend is Kurt Cobain. Like I feel like he's definitely overlooked when it comes to fashion. He was the one who started that whole grunge look. So he was really like ahead of his time. Kanye West is definitely in there. Ian Connor is in there and then Virgil Blow. Not so much his style, but just the way he goes about creatively constructing the way something looks. So there's no real end goal with YouTube. The start goal was really just to have another platform to where I can put different visuals out with video instead of pictures because I feel like a lot of times pictures don't last long. Like people are like, pictures are worth a thousand whatever. Was it? What's the quote? Pictures. Yeah, so people are like, pictures are worth a thousand words. And I just feel like video is like way beyond that because people can watch a video and actually relate to the moment instead of just a picture. So my favorite brands are definitely, my whole life has been Nike. Um, Nike's definitely up there, Stussy's up there, Balenciaga, and then Off-White. Off-White, not so much. The clothes is more of just Virgil and how I've seen his creative process behind it. And I think it just has you appreciate the brand a lot more. So advice that I would give to someone who wants to like do what I do or be in my position is basically just be consistent with your work and your creativity. Always stay true to yourself because at the end of the day, people aren't gonna be a fan of somebody who they can just be the same fan of the next person, if that makes sense. So definitely just being yourself, you are unique, and just being consistent, man. Make sure you got ambition and you wanna do what you wanna do. So there's definitely more content coming soon, so you guys can check me out at Jaden Grundy on pretty much everything, man. That's it. Smile.